Bury the Beater. As rock music got louder and bigger and guys started playing heel up, they started to push that bass drum beater into the drum head and they would kind of rest their foot right there and leave that beater in the drum head with all the force of their leg going through the ball of their foot or their toes holding that beater there. That's called burying the beater. A lot of rock guys play that way, boom, and they leave that pedal right there, as opposed to allowing it to come back. Allowing it to come back is like the free stroke uh, with the hand. You allow the, the drumstick to rebound back to its starting position. Some people play that way, where they allow the beater to rebound. Others bury the beater. What I'll tell you is that it, it, both techniques are acceptable, depending on the style of music you're playing and the sound you're going for. When you bury the beater, you're muffling that head by leaving it on the head, which gives a, a more dry, uh, short sound, which is desirable for, for harder, louder music. If, however, you're using the bass drum tuned up for more of a pitch, more of a, um, a tone, like in jazz music, then you, you won't want to bury the beater because you want the drum to ring a little bit. You want some sound out of that drum. So two things to consider. Again, neither is right or wrong. It, it's all a matter of your own preference, your own style, your own uh, technique. And, and the kind of music you're trying to make.